This is Don Howe, and the topic for this golden nugget is being thankful. And this is part one of two. I'm going to start off with a story by Jerry Kirk. In 1990, Jerry Kirk decided that every time he saw a cardinal bird, he would intentionally stop and thank God for his love in Jesus Christ. This daily reminder blessed him greatly, and after about a year, he made a really big decision. He decided to expand what he refers to as his remembrance trigger, and he decided to intentionally stop and give thanks whenever he saw any bird. By 1998, 17 years later, Jerry Kirk estimates that he had intentionally stopped and given thanks and praise to God hundreds of thousands of times. But you know what? Not everyone practices being thankful. Joseph, the guy with the multicolored coat, he was thrown into prison and when the chief cupbearer to Pharaoh had a dream, Joseph was able to interpret it. Joseph then said to him, don't forget to tell Pharaoh that I'm here in prison and I shouldn't be in prison. But history records that the chief cupbearer did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. Most likely, sooner or later, you're going to experience something similar. You'll befriend somebody. You'll help them. They'll tell you that they love you, that they'll always be there for you. And then, somehow, they seem to forget you. Sometimes, they even turn on you. They become your enemies. You see, people can be fickle many times. People will let you down, but don't allow that to stop you from loving them. You're responsible for your own actions. You're not responsible for the actions of others. Don't be the type of person who neglects to say thank you. My last reminder to be thankful for this golden nugget is found in the 17th chapter of the Gospel of Luke. You see, Jesus had healed 10 people. They had leprosy, but only one of them took the time to say thank you. Hey, if you do nice things for people, and if only one out of 10 takes the time to say thank you, then you're doing as good as Jesus did when it comes to having people say thank you. But my real question for you is, what have you done to thank the people who have done something for you? At this moment, right now, think about somebody, somebody from your past, somebody who did something nice to you and give them a phone call or send them a handwritten note. Do it now. Do it today. And both of you will benefit. I'm going to guess that you have an attitude of gratitude because that's how winners live and you are a winner and given enough time, you will win. Yes, you are a winner. Thank you for listening to this Golden Nugget by Don Howe. To learn more about Don's free sales success system or to have a free success audio like this one sent to you each weekday, please visit DonHowSuccess.com. That's D-O-N-H-O-W-E-S-U-C-C-E-S-S dot com.